and it's done in Spanish. This aerobics class in Espanol is so fun because of the Latin flavor that Andres adds to it. The music, the upbeat tempo, um, the different steps that she incorporates in the pre-workout, like the cha-cha, the salsa, the merengue. Even if you don't quite have that Latin rhythm, you will reap the benefits of the moves. It's a really great benefit for your health. It gives you, like I said, a lot of energy, good for the heart, for your joints, for everything. It feels like you give a tune-up to your body. The benefit of the exercise is, first of all, is having fun, lots of fun. Fun is exactly what the kids' class is all about. I have a lot of friends here, and all of them, they, um, they say that they really like it because we play a lot of games. I think it's, it's great that the teacher makes it so fun for them and that they don't realize they're actually exercising. No matter which class you decide to take, you're sure to be hooked. It's convenient, it's affordable, and everybody has a really good time. LA Latin Aerobics makes exercise fun and easy. For HCTV, I'm Christina Pascucci. The next session of LA Latin Aerobics will offer salsa and Zumba classes. You can pick up a class schedule at the Memorial Center or go to www.cityofhawthorne.com. When we return, we'll take you to an intense workshop that's helping to transform the lives of local students. You got a good curve on it, Fred! <laughs> At PlayGolfAmerica.com, you can tee up with PGA instructors and programs. Whether you want to improve your game or learn how to play, there are plenty of ways to make it easier to get out there and have fun. Play golf, America. There are moments in your life when you think about what defines you. Mine was the moment when the doctor said autism. What do you do next? There is no cure. There is no game plan. Can you tell me what I'm doing is what I'm supposed to be doing? Because I don't know. As a parent, you're expected to have all the answers. But when your child has autism, there are very few answers to be had. That's why tens of thousands of parents across the country have come together online to give researchers the insight they need. It's called the EM Project. Every child is different, and unless we, as parents, tell the researchers what is specific to our child, how will they know? They don't live with the children. They don't see them every day. This is one thing that I can contribute. I can contribute to the answer. Join the EN Project. We all have questions. Together, we'll find the answers. Hey, Barrett! Look, Timmy's in trouble, Ian. I told you to stay Someone should do something. Boy, you never see that happen. If you see abuse or neglect, learn what you can do at BeHumane.org. You're watching Hawthorne Community Television, Channel 22. Quality programming for the city of Hawthorne. A workshop that aims to break the cycle of violence is giving students more than they ever imagined. Alex Batrias has a story. The bonds that have been created between these pet pals and their trainers go beyond what words can express. They're not really just pets, they're like best friends. I love her. Ashley, along with her classmates from Para Vista Middle School in Hawthorne, participated in SPCA LA's Teaching Love and Compassion program, otherwise known as TLC. It tries to reach at-risk students who are maybe having some problems at school, maybe some problems at home. The three-week program has helped to change negative behavior. If we get like a referral and think, we're out of this program, so I took my schoolwork serious. Being in this program, like, it taught me to be patient and understanding with everybody. TLC also gave students the opportunity to train shelter dogs, something that was difficult for some in the beginning. I used to get frustrated a little bit when she didn't do something, but then I started being patient with her. Patience has also guided other students towards success. Now it's easy, like, she'll just 
sit down by herself and she'll roll over. When I tell him to, um, to do a sit, he'll actually sit and he's very good. Through the use of animals, students learn the importance of compassion, active listening, teamwork, and empathy. We work on like not to argue and not to fight and not to scream at each other. And, uh, and all we did was just take it calm and smooth and we just worked with our dog and got everything done. We hope that, um, that forming those bonds with animals will get them to think positively and respect other, human, uh, other life, human beings as well. Parents were overjoyed to see their children graduate from TLC. I'm excited and very, very proud of my daughter. This program did a lot of uh, changes in her life for positive. But the day was bittersweet for Monica. The dog she trained was finally adopted after being in the shelter for three months. I feel happy for that, but of course I'm going to feel sad because I'm not going to have them by my side anymore. The relationships and experiences created through SPCA LA's TLC program is something that these children will remember forever. For HCTV, I'm Alex Padres. SPCA LA's TLC program has been going strong for 10 years now and is offered to students in Hawthorne, Long Beach, and the LA Unified School District. For more information, visit www.spcala.com. Here are some available pet pals in need of some loving care. Brody is a handsome nine-month-old Sharpay mix who likes squeaky toys and playing with other dogs. He already knows sit, down, and how to walk on a leash. He would love more training and wants to be active with plenty of playtime and exercise. This is Silverbells. She's a laid-back silver tabby who gets along well with other cats and can't wait to curl up in a warm lap. The two-year-old loves gazing out the window. You can take her home in a beautiful deluxe pet carrier. To adopt Brody or Silver Bells, please stop by SPCALA South Bay Pet Adoption Center right here in Hawthorne at 12910 Yukon Avenue. The center is open Wednesday through Friday from 11 to 6 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday from 10 to 5 p.m. You can also call the center ahead of time. That number is 310-676-1149. The Kiwanis Club will host its annual Senior Holiday Luncheon on December 5th. The luncheon will take place at noon at the Hawthorne Memorial Center, located at 3901 West El Segundo Boulevard. Attendees will sing holiday carols and enjoy a pasta lunch, compliments of the Kiwanis Club. For more information, please call the Hawthorne Recreation and Community Services Department at 310-349-1640. Well, in honor of the holidays, the Senior Center will be hosting its annual Black and White Holiday Ball. The party will be on Friday, December 12th from 2 to 5 p.m. at 3901 West El Segundo Boulevard. Attendees are encouraged to come dressed in their finest for a night of light refreshments and fun. Admission will be charged at the door. You can RSVP by calling 310-349-1650. Well, the percentage of disabled Californians served by the Department of Developmental Disabilities has increased over 60% since 1996. It's a pervasive issue that has been largely overlooked. Christina Pascucci has a special report. A developmental disability is any condition that starts before the age of 18, continues indefinitely, and causes substantial impairment. Examples include epilepsy, autism, and mental retardation. Hundreds of thousands of Californians have been diagnosed with these conditions. Michael's Learning Place has revolutionized the way these people receive care. Jane Yoselowitz has a son with cerebral palsy. There are very, very few programs available today for kids with developmental disabilities. That's why she sends Andrew to Michael's, an after-school program that helps kids with special needs gain independence. Michael's founder, Ed Lynch, says every child deserves a chance. Yeah. I just think that a lot of people have this perception that if you, you have a child with special needs, that you, there are limitations to what you can do. We all have limitations in life. It's what we do with that limitation. Lynch started the foundation six years ago after being inspired by his daughter, Michael. She died at a young age due to her disability. I always knew that I'd need to do something for my daughter. I also knew when my daughter was here, there was really nothing available for her as far as social activities and programs. Now Michael's legacy lives on through others who will finally get the chance to be like normal kids. You guys ready to go a little faster? Yeah. Yes, 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 It helps them just be themselves, I think, most of all, just be who they are. These teens are just like any normal child. That's why Michael sets the same expectations for these kids that they would for any other. 
you know, four or five to buy my three. Oh, uh, okay. I could do it myself. Oh, okay, I'm just watching. I'm going to college when I'm 18 years old. All these kids can. Can't is not an option. Lexi is a student at Michaels. Not only does she like the fun activities, but also the life skills that are taught. How much milk do we need, Lexi? How much milk do we need? Cup of milk. Half? Half cup milk. It really just helps these kids develop in ways that I think is innate for typical children, but not necessarily for our kids. And it, it gives them that, and that's amazing. I've got to move on and be who I am. I Lexi's condition improved so significantly that she was honored by city officials. This is a certificate of recognition presented to Lexi Aaron. The Hawthorne City Council commends you on your constant dedication to achieving high levels of excellence. My design <laughs> place helps me a lot. In addition to the after school program, Ed and his team saw another need to be met. What happens when the kids are aging out of high school? and you know, who's going to teach them to live independently. That's when they developed the MILE program. The idea is to, um, to take these kids and send them to uh, an apartment to live for the weekend with counselors where they do all the life skills. Jane's son Andrew has gotten a lot out of the program. He's doing all these things. He's doing his wash, he's folding the laundry, he's doing all these things that he has never in his life ever done just in a week and a half of this program. And I can not only imagine what 10 months will bring. Does it feel good to do this stuff on your own? Yeah. It does. Do you, what does it make you feel like when you do it yourself? Happy. 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 And look for where it be some cart. I'm ready to move out right now. Chop Andrew. You did that one nice! Carlos Alvarez is a Michaels graduate who proves that those with special needs can find success in the workplace. Carlos is a very good worker, very um, efficient, organized. Um, he likes to get the job done. He's eager to move on to the next project. He likes everything to be exact. And if it's, if it's not, he'll straighten it until it's, it's where he wants it to be. Carlos's sister Claudia is a head teacher at Michaels. She says she learned an important lesson early on. And one thing that the doctor told my mom was, don't treat him any differently. And that's our motto in our family. He is not different. Carlos, congratulations on your first check. Thank you. More than 90% of the people with developmental disabilities that I run into now could be contributing and having meaningful lives. Michaels is giving these kids a chance. To be independent and to strive and have self-esteem. Children and adults with disabilities are capable. They just need to be given the opportunity to shine. For HCTV, I'm Christina Pascucci. Yeah. To donate or to learn more information, call 310-297-9333 or visit www.michaels.org. We'll keep it right here on Channel 22 for our upcoming Holiday City News Special. Locals compete for top honors at the second annual Gingerbread Village Open House. And the VFW hosts a luncheon for over 200 veterans. Well, that does it for this edition of City News. Thanks for watching. If you have any story ideas, please call us at 310-349-1630. We'll leave you now with more highlights from American Idol finalist Chakizi's performance at El Camino College. See you next time. It's your left hand in the way that it's not quite as big as your right. Adonai mobile, qual fium mal vento, mutat accento, edi pensiero. I say to myself, you're such a lucky guy. To have a girl. She belongs.